Hey y'all, this is Taylor and I am here to talk to you about my hourly planner and how I use it because it's definitely not a traditional way of using this planner. So this is the Erin Condren hourly planner in the neutral colorway. So this planner I got on a whim. I saw some people using it and I was like, I want to use this as well because the vertical just was not working for me. And I thought, let me try this. I saw some people using the columns as like just vertical columns instead of using the times. And I thought that would be something to try. And so this was my very first week using this in July. And I was just messing around with this. Plus I'm a teacher. So the summertime is like always a time where you're just lost and you don't know what to do with your day. And so this was just like, fun to play with. Um, this was uh, July 4th week and that was kind of fun. So again, I'm just finding things to put in here because I just did not have very much to do, but I loved this and I saw with this spread kind of what I could do with it. So then later on in July, this was the first kit I used and this was with uh, the organizing companion kit, I think. And it was a very like a mini kit very small kit and I added in some other things to kind of fill it out but this is where I kind of felt like I found my groove a little bit so I put washi up at the top and the bottom I started working on my sidebar I always do a thankful thought or some kind of deco up here I always do a running to-do list for the week that's not time specific and then I always have a um, habit tracker for my birth control and vitamins just so I don't forget to take those and then this week, I just worked chronologically, mainly. So I had a to-do list here to do that day, but then and then I had an appointment. So I kind of worked with like a hourly format, which I didn't know what to call it back then. Um, wrist plans, she uses this format, and her I'll link her channel down below. But she coined the phrase hourly, but I love that because that's kind of what I morphed into once school started. So I loved this. Um, this was kind of where I figured some things out. Then school started and I realized that I needed a space up at the top that was separate from everything else just for my school to do's. So I am a teacher and I work half time teaching and then half time doing other responsibilities lots of different things but I have a lot of meetings so I knew that I needed to have a space up here specifically for that so I ordered these from Erin Condren got them labeled it's just school and some different colors and I realized that this is gonna work really well so this was the first week where I started doing this on the regular and so I have my school to do's here and then I have some kind of separation whether a line or dots or some kind of like a deco and then my evening or home responsibilities and so I have workouts here I've got a bill due and this was where I started putting down things at the bottom that were not really time specific but I knew I needed to get done that day so like this bill I don't have everything on auto pay but I like to know when it's being drafted um, my scout kitty she had to get a revolution that day and so I put that down and I realized with this week that I started working from the top to the middle and from the bottom to the middle. And that really worked out because everything kind of found its spot here. Um, I have a running cleaning list on the weekend because that's when I do most of my cleaning. And this was just kind of like open space to mark things that I need to get done but don't necessarily have like a definite spot or time period. And then my sidebar is looking pretty normal compared to previous weeks so then October rolls around and I kind of find the format that I want to use for the next several months so I got my school to do's my some kind of separation found out I'm gonna be an auntie and I'm so excited about that but I have like my big things I need to work on down here for my home stuff and I started putting in my high five for Friday list, which is like my five things that I loved from the week. And I always make sure that like these are my gratitude or my like favorite things that happened. 
I love putting that in here. Cleaning list, uh, weekend banners using regularly, same uh, sidebar over here, and meetings marked with like special stickers. But again, I'm working from the top to the middle, from the bottom to the middle. And then I started doing my weather doodles up here too, which I love, I still do those. Okay, so then the test was, what happens when I don't have school? So on this week, Thanksgiving week, I had school for a few days, so that's normal. Then over here, it was much more open, so I could get a little more decorative. And I started coloring my weather doodles and stuff. But this was fun, because this was more like journaling and planning. So I moved kind of more into that also. Sidebar is looking good. But this week I also added in a weekly prayer list because I like to keep things in mind for the week. And I had it over here in my sidebar. I'm going to move it over sooner or later. And then January, we're back to school. So I got my school to do's. And then I'm working from the bottom to the middle. Prayers kind of moved to the Jan or Wednesday. High five for Friday moves to Thursday because I usually do a blog post on this every that goes up on Friday mornings. So I do it Thursday night. So that's why I put it over here. I also started marking um, with Carolina's Crafts uh, little iPad stickers for when we use iPads in my classroom. Just so I remember to plug them in and make sure they're charged. Over here my sidebar has changed and this is going to be the format from here on out. So I have my weekly to-dos, um, some kind of deco or something up here. I've got my meals for the week and they, they look tiny but it just kind of works for me to have them over here. I have my habit tracker and then I moved my cleaning list over here so that because I needed more room in my weekends it was getting a little too crowded over here. So that works out really well. Because sometimes I check things off later in the week, but sometimes I just do it all in the weekend. Anyway, it's over here out of the way, which is nice. And then my weekend is a little bit more balanced. And then this week, oh, I love it so much. So this was the first week that I used a full kit. And this is a kit from Glam Planner. It's Case of the Mondays. It is gorgeous. I love it so much. I did cut down the washi in half, which helped a lot because if you're using a vertical planner, like you have the space at the bottom to do a full thick washi, but I just don't want to do that. I need more space. Um, so I cut the washi in half, which really is helpful because I'm an hour or I'm a white space planner. And so I have half of this kit left and I will be using this kit again because I adore it, but I have the same sidebar love this. I This was the first week that I started doing this with my weekend banner and I love this because here's I have this like thing with with balance. I love to see balance in my planner so I started to do this from here on out. Some kind of deco here or quote something here weekend banner with weekend washi and then something up here in this corner so that every corner kind of kind of has something to ground it and I love the look of that it just kind of makes everything kind of spread out and it feels good but on this week I had some like open things open space so I put in a quote um, sometimes I do that but I just love how this turned out it's so pretty and I can't wait to use that again and then this week this is in March this was a no kit week and I just found this washi at Hobby Lobby and I loved it. I paired it with some other gold washi to uh, use as separation between my school to do's and the rest of my stuff. And this is where I started working out on the regular again and I knew I wanted to make a prominent place for those. So I started using quarter boxes or half boxes for my workouts and I love that because I got to do it if I write it down. So that works out. Sidebar is rolling just fine. And then uh, weekend, I moved my prayers over here because there's just a little bit more space over here. And love this. It feels very balanced, very pretty. And then this was last week. So it's a little bit messy, but I still like it because I got 
my school to-dos up here, tons of meetings this week. So I put those up at the very top and I realized that I like this very much and I'm gonna keep doing this. So regardless of if the meeting is eighth period, I'm not gonna put it further down in my school day. I'm gonna put it up at the top because these are the most important things that I need to get done. And then these things I can do whenever I have time in the day. So I love that and it feels a little bit more balanced with the bottom. I've got my washi banner, I've got some deco, got some things happening over here and I've got washi over here as well. Thankful thought, same sidebar. Weekend is just like a free for all. Like it just like happens when it happens but I usually put my prayers over here now and because here's why. When I had it over here, I wasn't looking at it every day because I was always looking forward. So having it over here, I'm always looking forward in the week, no matter what day I'm on. And I always see this every day and I always think of these and pray for these. And then I also started doing my blog to do's over here or social media to do's, I should rename it, um, over here because that's when I work on this stuff is usually Sunday evening when I have some downtime. So I really like having those over in this corner. And then this is this week. So you can see very clearly, this is my pre-planning for the week. And I know this looks like a lot, but I already know a lot of the things I'm doing this week, so I might as well get them done. And you can see the separation here. I have the white space between everything at this point. So sidebar is pretty much done. But then the to-dos, I'll add to this as it goes. I'll put in my workout here and then I'll just fill in this middle space with whatever comes up or with decoration or washi or whatever I want to do to fill the space. But I really like how this style is working for me because it just, it just works. It's just what I need and it is like pleasing to the eye for me. So the thing with planning is do what works for you and Usually it's going to turn out really well if it's what you want to do and you're not forcing it. So anyway, I have some videos uh, coming up soon, hopefully. Um, some plan with me's later on, but those are going to be a little bit further into the future. I'm still working out how I'm going to do that. But I am going to have some uh, future videos. So please like, subscribe, comment. Um, ask me any questions you have about this particular style, this like hourly, uh, modified hourly style, um, if you have any, down below and I will get back to you. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!